not all tickets are bad, just the ones that are, you know, parking tickets. Uh, we have an experience for you and your clients to use ticketing as a way for them to submit requests and for you to let them know where you're at in those requests. So um, when you set up your tickets, uh, you have several options. So um, you'll start by going into your workspace settings and then communicator because you're communicating with your clients and then requests and tickets. So you can create several different types of tickets and those tickets can either be empty where they just kind of get to write to you whatever it is that they need. Or if you're trying to collect a specific amount of information that you know you're always going to need, uh, then you could use an attached form. So you would create a form and you would connect it to the ticket. Um, I'll quickly take a look at forms. Um, there's a whole video for you. Anytime you go to our help center, that's here at this question mark in the lower right. You can always um, chat with us. You can always go in and take a look at our videos about um, and our help documentation on what it looks like to build a form. Okay. Quickly, workspace settings and then form builder. Um, I have created this content brief form. So you create a form by clicking the plus button and you can use our template library. You can start from scratch. Um, and when it comes to actually building the form, you'll take these form inputs and click and drag them onto your fields wherever it is that you want them. You can make each of these items required or not required, um, but you can see here, I just have a really quick content brief that I will use um, to collect information in my ticket. Okay, so going back to setting up my tickets, again, that's in workspace settings and then communicator and then under requests and tickets. So I've created this content brief. You'll use this plus button to create a request type. You can add and move around status options. And then this is where you would add that attached form. So again, I made that content brief one. I have that all set up here. Um, and you can also edit and again, click and drag to move these um, statuses around. So that's the setup for tickets. Um, the way you manage your tickets is here in tickets. You can also manage it by clients. When you go into a client, you'll also see that your tickets are all listed for that client here. Um, or you can just go to tickets in the left nav and see all the tickets for all of your clients in one place. When you click into the ticket, you can see the client that it's for. Um, you can, if it's been requested by one, of your contacts. You will see which uh, person requested that. And then you can assign it to one of the folks in your account. Um, this will let you know uh, the request type. So that the I remember I had all of those ticket types. So this is the request type that came in. I could change that if I needed to. I can update the status here. So I'm going to say I've seen that. So this will be an open ticket. It will have its due date. I can track time to this ticket. I can see when the ticket was created and last updated and add people to a, a list to carbon copy them as updates are made to this ticket. Here I have comments that I can go back and forth. Here are the comments that have been given to me by my client. Um, I'll show you what the client side looks like. This is what your side looks like. I can also add a private comment here. So um, let's say I am working on this um, within my Moxie account with someone else, or I just need to make a personal note for myself. I can click that this is a private comment. So we'll just write, here's a private comment. Um, and then I will go ahead and add, um, here's a public comment. So we'll take a look at what that looks like on the client side. Um, once you've got your ticket in, if you want that to work in your, uh, in your project management software, you can click this link task and it will bring up all of the tasks that have been placed inside this client um, and you can always link it to a task there. And if you have Moxie's AI assistant, you can also click summarize here and you can see a summary of the information that is here um, in your ticket. 
um, as you can see here. Okay, so there are your tickets. You can manage them. You'll also get as these have due dates. So this due date is today. So I should be able to go in. I might have cleared it already. I should be able to go in here. Let's see. Let me update that to have a different due date. And um, I won't clear it out of here. Let's put this due date on tomorrow. So um, I have, you can see here, these are my tickets. You can tell because you have an icon that looks like a ticket. So here is that ticket and it is going to be due tomorrow. That's what it looks like for you um, in your workspace and how you can kind of see tickets in all the places. Let's take a look at how that looks for your client. Um, you can also do this for yourself. You'll go to workspace settings and then client portal. And then under permissions, um, you'll want to make sure that tickets is enabled as a feature for your client. Um, you can turn that on and off as well, managing the custom access for permissions. So let's say I want um, I want this client to be able to access uh, those tickets, but for this client, I'm not going to use tickets. So I'm going to turn tickets off for this client. So there's um, custom access. So I've got tickets turned on for this client. Let me just check that and make sure. Yep. I'm just using my regular um permissions here and i'm going to go in and use these three dots to say view portal as here's what things look like for your client when it comes to tickets so here is my client portal um this is just a canva image um you can probably make really nice one. Um, so they'll see this under requests. Now in your, uh, in your Moxie, you can set that up to say whatever is that you want. So if you want to call that something different, totally fine. Um, they will go in under requests and they will click new request. If you have given them an option to do multiple different types of requests, um, they'll be able to see all of those. So here's a content brief. Um, they'll add the subject. Um, um, they can add a CC person here. So this is the only address that has its uh, that has is the contact information for this. So that's why that's in the drop down. Those are the only people in the client portal. Um, I'll add a company description. Um, just so you can see. Sorry, you're watching me type. <laughs> okay, so here are here's what that looks like. They can add an attachment here as well, and then they'll click submit request. So there's that form that I showed you, and now they can see that their ticket is in here. So we'll go into request. Here is um, the ticket that they just submitted. Let's go back. So we had um, our previous ticket that I made a comment on. So you can see here is the comment that um, we saw in my account. Here is the comment that I made back to them. But you can see here, we don't have that private comment back. So um, that's a good way for you to kind of keep all of the notes that you have here all together on this ticket. So you're not wondering like, uh, I know they had some feedback for that, but I don't know what it is. Um, so that's just like a quick version of what that looks like. They'll be able to see um, kind of as things are changed here in their status as well. But that is what your client view of your tickets look like.